Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Allie. For the past two months, we've been avoiding winter on the beaches of Florida. Now that the first signs of spring are popping up, we decided it's time to venture north to the beautiful landscape in Georgia. Join us this week while we ditch the warm oceans and venture deep into the tree-covered hills just outside the Smoky Mountains. And don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along on all of our adventures. We found ourselves in Savannah, Georgia, attending a family member's wedding, and that was just the perfect excuse to move on from Florida. So from there, we shot up to the top corner of Georgia where we found this beautiful camp spot. It's in Johns Mountain Wildlife Management Area. It's free, but there's camp rings, and it's, it's stunning. <laughs> so we have a really fun day planned. But first, we gotta add fuel to our body so we can do it without getting mad at each other. <laughs> So we found this trail on the All Trails app. That app is awesome. And we downloaded it. So it's the Arrowhead Wildlife Interpretive Trail. It's a two mile loop that goes around a couple of lakes. And it's actually known for having a lot of different waterfowl. So hopefully we'll see some ducks while we're going around. You forgot your water bottle. flowers so it's gorgeous <laughs> might not hurt to bring uh, some allergy pills if you've got allergies though because the pollen is out the wazoo yeah. it's crazy amounts of pollen I'm not usually one to have allergies but my throat is definitely scratchy <laughs> Hike. It was beautiful. This was honestly just a great time of year for that hike. It was it was buggy. It was buggy, but wasn't too hot. I felt like the trees were just starting to bloom. It was very pretty. I will say, I wish I had my bug net. I don't know if you guys saw me wearing that in our last video in the Everglades, but that would have been really handy for me because I was getting very stressed out. I feel like it was mostly carpenter bees though, which at least I know they're not that dangerous, but I still don't like the buzzing noise, so I definitely wish I had that bug net. Yeah, and then the pollen was the other thing. Like, I don't know if you can look at my boot here. That's all pollen. 
Isn't that crazy? When we first pulled up, we it looked like a cloud of smoke blowing off the trees, but it was just, it was like yellow smoke because mm -hmm. it was all pollen. So yeah. it's, if you've got allergies, definitely pop an allergy pill before you head out. We're going to head back and catch our campground. Hopefully it's still there. Hopefully. Usually we find our camp spots with iOverlander. That's like the main one that works for us. But I don't know if it's just because we're in Georgia that there's not a lot of overlanders here. But I ended up finding this camp spot that we're heading to with the app called The Dirt. And so it's basically the same thing as iOverlander, but they had this spot rather than no spots. So that was pretty handy. <laughs> Always good to have backups though. Justin, are you ready? Yeah. try to get to the spot our van kept just dying like the engine just turned off and so we had to restart our van three times to get it back into the spot so we've been kind of wondering if we're having transmission issues lately because you can kind of hear the transmission like thud between switching gears which is very less than ideal and this I googled it with what little service I do have well it looks like that like the the engine might not give it enough torque to push it back therefore turning off the engine babe fingers crossed now I don't want this to ruin the night so we're gonna go start collecting some firewood I brought down and they seem pretty rotty and I think I found out why. Termites! We'll make sure we keep this log good and far away from the van so they don't eat our van away. I don't think that would actually happen because they don't, they wouldn't get through the metal. I think I have successfully ignited the fire. So, while Justin mans the fire, I'm gonna go ahead and cook us some dinner. If you guys have been following along, you know that we don't have a working fridge because our batteries are. So, if we're off grid like this, we really don't want to have to go to the grocery store, leave our campsite, and then come back. So, as you noticed earlier, we did have um, bacon. We buy the pre cooked bacon, which doesn't need to be refrigerated till after you open it. And then also, we have canned chicken and tuna which i don't normally eat i'm not gonna lie but tonight we're having chicken so we're going to be making barbecue chicken burgers burgers and dinner is served so we're gonna bring our dinner out to the campfire and it's a big one tonight last night we had one Ayo. and it was tiny so i'm excited killed it baby kind of hurts to make a fist because i have like I don't know, you can see. Oh my gosh, babe. There's that blister. Blister there, blister there, blister there. I got a lot of blisters. I cut a lot of wood tonight. Thank like, you. I feel like Abraham Lincoln. Thank you, Abraham. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end uh, the night. So, if you enjoyed the video, 
Give it a giant thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. We upload new videos every Sunday, so we'll see you next week. Bye. Good night. Good night. That's scary. Light switch is closer to you.